Good afternoon. Welcome to Grain TV. My name is Cody Bills. This is Brock Shimano. Today is Tuesday, the 15th, and we had a bit of a mixed trade here in the grain complex. Corn finished up seven and a half. Beans down three and three quarters. Wheat up 15 and three quarters. And Kansas City wheat trading up 15 and a quarter. Brock, it's interesting to see soybeans, the kind of the weakest of the reports on Friday. Now, this is the one uh, commodity here that seems to be showing a little bit of weakness first. What do you uh, expect in the next couple of days? Do you think uh, we could see some more selling? You know, soybeans really did rally right along with the other two commodities, wheat and corn, uh, after those reports released. It did get a little bit of a bearish report, so it was kind of a surprise. Uh, but we did end up rallying right up to that about about 14.36 in the overnight session. That was kind of the high end of the range that we were looking at. If you take a look at this trend line here on, on the daily chart for March soybeans, you can see that there's overhead resistance from that uh, top end trend line, and there's also the 200-day moving average right there. So I think after we saw a lot of fun money coming into the market over the last couple of days, we did see some technical selling due to that. That. But you know the fundamentals are still pretty strong for this market. I think we continue to see good export sales. We'll have to make sure we see those again on, on Thursday. Uh, and export inspections continue to run pretty hot as well. So that's a couple of things putting a bid on this market so, right now. So do you think that there's a, there's a possibility that, uh, that we continue to see selling and we go through lows? Or do you think uh, that this is you know, just kind of a pause uh, before we continue higher? You know, I think the market's just going to take a little bit of a breather, uh, maybe over the next couple of sessions or so. If we see good export sales on Friday, or excuse me, on Thursday, we could definitely go a little bit higher. Something that's going to be putting a little bit of a overhead resistance on us, though fundamentally, is going to be the South American crop. That's about to come uh, into harvest here in about a month or so, so that's something we're going to have to pay attention to over the next few weeks. Yeah, and of course, we saw Solaris revise their South American bean production um, up from 79 million metric tons to 80 million metric tons, and so that, uh, I think, also put pressure on soybeans here uh, this morning. Now, one thing, let's just switch our, the, the attention over to corn and, uh, and take a look at the chart landscape there. I think we've had about seven really strong days of price gains, and now I think we're going to be bumping our head up against a, uh, a downtrend resistance level right around 734. Now, we touched it a little bit during the trade day. We, we came off it a little bit. But we're trading around 731 right now, uh, but I really think the next couple of days, kind of the theme in the grain markets will be uh, the gains that people may have had uh, will be taken off the table here and we could just meet a little bit of selling pressure for both corn soybeans and wheat as well you know like you said Cody we did rally seven days in a row or seven sessions in a row for corn and uh, if I'm looking at the RSI indicator here on the bottom of this chart you can see that we're at about 62 level overbought territory is generally thought to be about a 70 so we're kind of approaching that level um, you know I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple days of selling here but uh, you know looking longer term what, what are your thoughts a little bit further out well I think I think it's very bullish here for, for corn. I don't necessarily think we're going to go out and, uh, and break the, the highs that we set in the summer, but I do think that uh, when you look at the cash, the average cash price between September 1st and December 1st, uh, it was trading at 738. Now we had an incredibly uh, big surprise when it came to how much uh, how much corn was used for feed in this last report. And so what I think will need to happen is we're going to have to trade up above that 738 threshold to really start curbing some of that feed demand that's up there. So I think I wouldn't be surprised right now the average cash price is 721. So I think we're going to have to see uh, the futures price really uh, move higher here. But I wouldn't be so surprised if we consolidate. Maybe we see a little bit of selling in the next couple of days and then we start to move sideways through it and then move a little bit higher you know we could go up to 750 who knows all right we'll have to pay attention to that as we move throughout the next few sessions uh, also tomorrow we're going to get the EIA ethanol information numbers and we're going to get uh, export sales on Thursday so make sure you follow us on Twitter check us out on Facebook or give us a call at 877-472-4607 thanks a lot.